Next up, we have a pastrami stuffed American barbecue challah. This is taking challah to a whole other level. First things first, we're gonna open the package of Meal Mart pastrami. So you can customize this challah however you want. I've done sausage and peppers. Always sauteed first. You really wanna get that fat out of it. Make it nice and crispy so that it doesn't, as it bakes, it doesn't make your challah dough soggy. Package number two, because the more the better. My pan is preheated. I'm going to take my pastrami, put it in the frying pan, and put it back on the fire. We have our pastrami all cooked up. This is Meal Mart pastrami. We have some caramelized onions in here. We use the frozen ones. It takes all the prep work out of it. We're gonna actually add some more. Once we have all this mixed up, we're gonna move it over to the side and go back to our challah. Okay, so we have our three portions of challah here. Each is about eight ounces, so it's gonna be one and a half pounds of challah dough. We're just gonna roll it out like I showed you before. Starting from the middle, working your way to the ends. Once your strands are rolled out, we're gonna put them in the middle of our mat. We're gonna take our rolling pin and we are gonna roll them and flatten them. You also wanna keep your meat along the middle so that you have enough room to be able to close up the strands. Okay, we're ready to roll. <laughs> Challah joke. Here's our pastrami. I'm going to generously place it in the middle. Again, making sure you have enough room, enough dough, so you can close up those strands after and not have to worry about them opening. All right, we are going to fold up our challah and we're just going to pinch it closed. So you could roll it up jelly roll style. I just happen to like doing it like this. I just like to fold it over, pinch it closed. Also, when you're working with anything greasy, if you're working with roasted garlic or caramelized onions, you really want to strain off any excess oil. Seam side down. We have our three strands lined up like so and we're gonna just braid it. I like to start from the middle. Some people like to attach their strands from the top, but I just start from the middle, but you can braid it however you like. Then at the bottom, I like to just tuck it under a little bit and then I just go backwards. You could put this in a challah pan or you could put it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, cover it, allow it to rise a bit, to relax, rest, and then we are going to brush it with barbecue sauce, a sprinkle of Montreal steak seasoning, more caramelized onions, smoked paprika. I have my barbecue sauce here and I have a pastry brush. I'm gonna generously brush on. And this is a beautiful, messy challah. Make a mess, have fun with it. Next up, we are going to take our caramelized onions. They're nice and defrosted. We are going to spread them over the top. We'll take some Montreal steak spice and then some smoked paprika. Sometimes I like to add some seasoning salt on top, some crispy French fried onions, crushed bisley. Last but not least, we're gonna sprinkle on some leftover pastrami because none of it's going to waste. I slice pastrami for the CIA, the CIA, yeah, the CIA. It was Fidel Deedle 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 Deedle.